All right, we're back with the video. This is a quick draft. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take this helm of the host no matter what. Looking at this, this is actually quite a strong pack. We have a weight of memory, Tatiova, uh, Thaladonivor, Wingrace Acolyte. Ooh, Skittering Surveyor. The helm of the host is just way, way, way too powerful. Ooh, Elfheim Druid. Passing two Gorgers. Ooh. Adelis is, I just think, pretty, pretty sick. But there's a blessed light right freaking there. All right, this is. I'm gonna be. I'm happy to do this recklessly. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're just gonna try to take the Adelis. It, it's clearly more correct to do the other one, but. Hmm. Okay. Well. Neither of these are good. This pack sucks. Um, we still could do some green work. Hmm, I should have taken the green cards. Mm. But we're here to force, so I'm gonna take this syncopate. Pick three syncopate. Feels actually very painful to do. G2 Chronicler, there's a wizard. There's a jousting lance. Good as a third Bailoff Gorger. But I think that, in the interest of time, we're just going to absolutely force. Because this is a flying haste guy, man. We're always going to be blue in some regard. Artificer. Ooh. Videlin Arcanist. Oh, Kellen Overseer. This is a haste that also lets us be a finisher. This is a really nice one in aggro decks. This is very, very, very nice. 3 1 haste is already pretty nice if, uh, you know, you have board control. And I want to make sure that I'm actually getting a sufficiently large amount of wizards. So Gitu Chronicler is something that wheels a lot. Uh, but who am I kidding, man? We're all in on this identity of ours. So bad. So bad. These are all so bad. Oh, God, I wish I was green. I think I still take the Pardic Wanderer. I still think it's better for what I'm trying to do. This card is terrible. All these, all these picks are terrible. It's fine, man. We're gonna Merfolk Wizard it. Seismic shifts. We got some land destruction. Woo! Uh oh, we got we got the turtle himself. Fought a last pick, hell yeah. What is this? Am I even gonna have any opportunity to use that? Whew. Icy Manipulator and Blink of an Eye. Uh, part of me is leaning towards Blink of an Eye. I really wish Kelvin Overseer. Icy Manipulator is a super sick card. It gives... I think that this is probably better with our goal to be an aggressive person. It feels really weird passing an Icy Manipulator. This card is very good. <laughs> eh. LSV says never pass an Icy. I literally watched a draft where LSV passed an Icy Manipulator while doing uh, Red Blue Wizards. I actually watched it yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm taking the blink of an eye. Kellen Overseer, very nice. What is this? Fuck. Wow. Holy cow. This would be a nice one to start picking up, but I think Kelvin Overseer is absolutely the pickup. Another Academy Drake. I think it's gonna have to be this. God. <laughs> I'm like, there's like so many cards I'm passing and it just like hurts me. I'm passing a wild onslaught right there, but it's okay. I'm gonna close my eyes. It's not an issue. Wizards. <gasps> 
We got a sorcerer's wand. We got a sorcerer's wand. Oh my god. This is nice. Oh, it's a target player planes. Well, I thought this was a target creature. Ah. Never mind. I think the wand wheels. I misread this, but you know, I'm still gonna run the wand. Oh yes, ski to journey mage. Hell yeah. That's a very nice pick for us. Eh. Nothing of this is good, so Sparring Construct is probably pretty okay for us. Probably pretty okay-ish. Let's see. Chroniclers can be really cool. Uh, we have a few kickable dudes. I think maybe just the Rampaging Cyclops. It has very good stats for this set. And we're sort of a little thin as we go up the curve, so I think, I think Cy Cyclops seems good. Kelden Raider seems completely acceptable. I'm not gonna run and unwind. There's a few of these things that I gotta just put away really fast. I don't know if we're gonna run this Arcanist. Probably. put that away for now. No, a second sparring construct? Maybe. Maybe yes, actually. Maybe, yeah. Oof. I'm just gonna take this just cuz. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why was I not green right from the very outset, huh? Oh, there's another journey mage. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Opt is correct strictly in this. There's a lot about what's happening to me that hurts me. Do I want the Journey Mage or the Fire Intervention? I think I actually do want the Journey Mage because it has just ridiculous... Well... Yeah, yeah, I just know it's better. Man, this is the second Tatiova. God damn. Alright, Frenzied Rage. I think Frenzied Rage is actually probably going to be a pretty nice thing for us. Alright, Tolarian Scholar. It's the dude. Do we run two Syncopates or do we run three Keldon Overseers? We're going to have two Keldon Overseers. Um, I feel like it's between these two. Keldon Overseer is like very good. But I think we just need a brutish dude. There's another argument to be made that, no, I actually am whiffing on a lot of my um, removal, which typically would allow me to be strong and carry on. I'm actually going to go for a third overseer, man. Relic Runners? Not great, really. And the powerful fire elemental. Oh yeah, baby. Is this even good? Wow, we 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 completely we are totally fucking moly right now, but that's okay. Probably don't necessarily I might run this. Actually, run that. Whoa, we're so lucky.
Maybe this Orgish Vandal is actually good with our two sparring constructs. <laughs> Everything here is bad. I'm taking an Arcanist. Oh yeah, Fire Elemental. Okay, so this is this draft wound up being hilarious to me because like, oh, second Fire Elemental, we got it. It's wound up being hilarious to me because like, I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible because it's 6:30 and I'm off to eat some din din uh, at seven. So let's see. And like, we literally passed up this phenomenal green deck. So this is out. Uh, let me just remove these things. We might actually have to run. We don't actually have that many spells, do we? Right, let's get these guys the hell out of here. We're all in on this Helm of the Host. And these overseers. Right, these befuddles can get the hell out of here. We actually just like do not have. Hmm. I cut this jerk. Actually, 41, we're at 41 now. Rummaging Cyclops, this guy's very good. Oh, get the hell out of my deck, man. It is a, a hilarious card, but I'm not running it by any stretch of the imagination. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Six non-creatures. had to cut one, who would I cut? Probably one Lodalian Arcanist. I think the Frenzied Raid is actually going to do it. Yeah, blue's hard to, like, not pick in this set. I think Sparring Constructs are good to help up these dudes. Um, this curve looks pretty correct. But we do have a Helm of the Host. Alright. Who's ready to play the fastest possible? By the way, let, let this be an example of why you should not force an archetype. We got Adeliz, who's like pretty okay. <laughs> Solident. We just didn't get, get good cards for it. And there were just like so many bombs in there. Oh, oh baby, yeah. Let's oh let's keep this. We got a wizard's retort and a wizard. Ooh. So you Kimmy, we're gonna Academy Drake, we're gonna Helm of the Host. Yeah. Three twos are pretty sick. See, Adeliz is like a second pack. Ooh, I got this. I'm real happy about that. Uh-oh, looks like I am not the beatdown anymore. Oh, dude, this is so funny. Like, and now, now I'm gonna whip on red mana. <laughs> Shit. Not exactly how this guy feels. I think it's gonna be a... Time to Wizard's Retort. Oh, baby. Oh, look at this. We can, be, we can start playing all of our cards. Look at this. What the heck is going on here? Okay, there we go. Who's attackers? No attackers, baby. Staying back to block. I got a flyer out on turn three. Kaboom. Ooh, who is this guy? Me? Uh oh. It's certainly gonna be 
whack in here. Alright, go big or go home, right? Da -da -da -da. So we gotta draw the land. Do he's trample and kick spells, make stuff huge again? Okay, cool. Should swing with this one for sure. Uh oh. So I could also. No, I think I'm gonna play that. Mm, I'm gonna play this and leave the wizard's retort up. Because I think I just defend until I get one land and then I just helm of the host the Academy Drake into infinity and beyond. I have Wizard's Retort to be able to counter whatever he plays next turn. Because his, his board is not super duper threatening, but it is it is a teensy tooch threatening. I think that we allow through. I literally just need one land and then I helm with a host and then we're the greatest we're the greatest quick draft player there ever were. Alright, I'm gonna take that three. That's fine. Health is a resource. Health is a resource. I got my wizard's retort. Alright, well that helps some. You don't have a wizard's retort, but you know. God, the helm of the host. It's just tempting me. Why don't you draw land, day 9 This is kind of ridiculous. Corrosive is out to get me. Corrosive's blocks become blocked, but I can get destroy all equipment attached to that creature. God. All right, we got him to 17. We're doing great. He can't stop the rampaging Cyclops, man. This is great. <laughs> this? What is this now? Oh. This is a forest. It's a forest. Wow. He ran it. Alright, so I'm probably going to like blink. Blink to stay alive. Around the bam. Oh my god, another 2,500. Uh, no, I'm not going to allow that for one second. If you're mana screwed, I want you to stay mana screwed. Around the bam. 2,500 bits again. Holy cow. That is almost 20k bits in the last few days alone. Goodness. Woo! Woo! Last year for the week. I wish I could watch more, but it doesn't. Happen like it used to, night everyone. Good night around the band. Probably with these two. He's not attacking with a damn thing. It's a damn shame. I don't think I blink here. I'm gonna just wait. This is great. Outside of the fact that I'm not able to play my Helm of the Host. <laughs> I might I might argue this should be a 16 lander. Maybe it should be a 16 lander. I have no idea why this guy is not making swings. It's a powerful Cyclops. Look at that man. I would not want to fight that guy. That's terrifying. This is a possible play to swing in with the Cyclops. It blocks with two. I blink one, so then it's just blocked by one again. Hmm. Welcome back, Steel Leaf Champion. 
This is good because it's just gonna get delayed for like a really long time. This card is so sick. You know, I'm near positive that I actually have extra mana in my deck. Like, I'm pretty sure of it in my deck. So when he starts swinging in, this is where I'm just gonna blink of an eye to invariably get the land. It's been a lot of turns with just, just four. He's had a lot of turns with just four. It's been dramatic matches thus far. So he's going to have the opportunity to act first, and then I can act, so I can return this if he has some sort of weird combat trick. So we're taking some damage, and he's probably doing nothing again. A lot of runners, fine. Like, every single deck I have drafted has been like, well, there are some good blue flyers. I'm <laughs> just like... <laughs> I'm like, just try to poke him in the eye, like, every single one today, man. Go in. Get in there. Now, there is an argument to be made for doing this right now. I'm just gonna do it right now. Oh, oh my god, I completely forgot about this proc. It was so dumb. Woo! It's okay, we'll cast another spell. This is good. This is good. No, I do not want another Academy Drake. I really just don't want it. Oh, thank the stars! Guys, we did it. We got the helm of the host. About to have so many flyers, you guys. We did it. We got the helm of the host. Oh my god, look at it. It's just been sitting here like I am totally broken and trapped. Oh, good lord. Well, I mean, he can, he's getting close to Alpha Strike territory. He's tapped out. Nice. So I, I just trade with the Steel Leaf. That's pretty clear. We can also go block, block. Seems better. Oh, of course. Can't be blocked by things found. Or less. Duh. turn. Six. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're, we're actually receiving the opportunity. On turn nine, we get five mana or whatever. Oh god. Oh 
Oh, it's this scary, terrifying thing that we'll never get to see the light of day in this game. Oh my god, is he gonna explode? Come on, explode, blow up, blow up into smithereens, man. Oh, 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 er, 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 er. Victor. So sick. All right, I'm actually gonna make changes. I actually don't think that we need some of these cards. <laughs> it's just a big old resign button right there. Oh wait, that's right. You never get to edit this deck. Oh, I've been playing competitive draft too much, man. All right, we're playing. Oh, I completely forgot. We're doing quick draft, quick draft. Just banging out matches, banging them out. Helm of the host every time. We get it, we win. That's how it's done. Come on, me. Oh yeah! Keep! Oh my god! This looks like a deck that we built to win with! Why didn't I attack with the third flyer? Fear. Pure and adulterated feel. Fear. Adulterated feel. Toth low. It's gonna opt. I choose to opt. That seems deeply wasteful. You can block, but now I will have a 3-2 Relic Runner. Guess what? So slow. Tight. Alright, let's play this. Let's get the Kelvin Raider out. To cycle one of our islands, because we're never going to need him ever again. in the bin. Oh, nice, 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 nice. C'est intéressant. I think I actually do want to... I think I actually do want to play the Rummaging Cyclops. Try to maybe go for the Academy Drake as a uh, kicked thing. Homer it explored. Oh, come on. Whew, heart almost jumped for a moment. Yeah, you can trade, it's fine. Dude, any game in which we draw out with those is over. The game is over, man. Yeah, that's fine. I put him in the graveyard. Is this guy Ooh. actually trying to mill me? I'm not attacking with the other one because it's possible for him to kill it. I actually like, don't have a good target. Now here's the ridiculous thing about Helm of the Host, in case y'all didn't know. The token stays out. Helm of the Host just generates more tokens every single turn. This is fantastic. 
Oh, this card is... This is a bomb. This is the real bomb. Yeah, it's broken. It's broken. And it's... This is why I like magic! Great. Shit, this little bugger. I have 14 cards left in the deck. I do not quite have enough to kick it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blink of an eye. Kick this. Sneakity. Smash this. Got a frenzy rage on this. Right. <laughs> uh, awesome. Awesome. So copy it with the buffs? Nah, it doesn't copy it with the buffs. Otherwise, that would be broken. <laughs> Alright, he's he's accepting a little damage. Our Relic Runner is now a Valiant 1-5 Defender, which is nice. <laughs> he did get us low. He got us down to like 13 cards in hand, which is pretty sick. Alright. Quick draft. Feeling good. Yeah, no, we're really good. We're really good. It's Big B the first. Hey, Big B Wolf. This is okay. If we rip a mountain, we're we're we have a pretty nutty opening. I mean, Vidalian Arcanist is not spectacular, but the fact that I can blink to draw using the Vidalian Arcanist is pretty nice. Oh, he mulliganed to five. Oh, this boy's dead. Oh, this man is dying in my lap. He mulled to five cards. Oh, Big B the first. Yeah, no, divest. Dude, whatever you want to chuck. I hear it. It's probably going to move Adela's Cinder Warren. Cinder Wind. Yeah. And that is a... Even though it might seem like, oh, hey, it's pretty nice uh, divest target. This is why divest kind of feels like it stinks a little bit in these types of situations. All right, so first things first, I'm actually gonna run out the Gitu Journey Mage. Hurt him for three. And now we have some hasting that we can do. Could, in theory, wait till we have seven, but I'm obviously not gonna do that. All right, cool. So he's essentially dead. The reason I say essentially... ...is that we're hitting him for, obviously, a lot, and then we can bounce twice. Quick game. <laughs> oh god. Is any part of this game free? Yeah, no, when you start there, it just gives you a bunch of free decks to play with. So you can like ladder uh, and earn money with those to unlock all the stuff. Like, this, this thing that I'm playing right now, I am playing with only received funds. Quick 
draft was quick. That was a... When is that a close beta? Dude, I have no idea. I think we gotta... I think we gotta chuck it. I think. I need a more aggressive start. That'll do. Oof. You guys see how this works? Probably gonna blink of an eye on uh, my turn. Ass card. Well, the reason I want to play this right now is to get the extra damage from Adelis because I'm paying attention this time. This does pose a bit of an issue drawing these lands here, like that. Kind of sucks. However, I mean, keep in mind that I did snag a couple of those uh, Keldon cards, the Keldon Warlord Seer people. you man killed an overseer pretty sick card because I mean if you can get it early amazing but if you can play it for seven you can just it's clever and you must block thing, this thing if able it's kind of a cute way to do removal but I do have a 4-4 flyer that's gonna kill him in two turns Gonna wait with the Kelvin Overseer. He played a rat colony. Let's get a land just for good measure. Dude, look at this. Look at this. We're killing it, man. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping at all. I'm gonna go turn the oven on real fast. Stay here. Stay here. Give me my 25 G's, man. Alright, well, yeah, let's. Uh... Is that four games? Is that just 4 0? A quick 4 0? <laughs> oh my god, it's so satisfying! Oh my god. Was it going out at 70? Yeah, yeah. But I preheated the oven late and I'm on a tear, man. Gotta hurry, man. Magic morning brew. Oh god, it's so satisfying to just crush. Uh, I do. I really, truly do not find our deck to be particularly good. I'm keeping this because this is a monster. If we can wind up uh, just peeling one land, like this is this is brutal.
one time. Like literally, this this is a hand that only needs one land. Boom! Oh my fucking boom! Actually, this is probably better as it gets in for more damage. This is so amazing. This is a vicious little hand. See, and then he's going to be able to play a big threat. Oh my god, we're so dirty. <gasps> come on, reopen! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, get there! Come on, check for the updates. Prepare the assets. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, come on, get there. Don't you close on me. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. It's not responding. Close the program. Do not wait for it to respond. Just close it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I know it's a beta. I know it's a beta, but come on. Come on. Oh, it's a quick draft, too. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh... This is target creature and opponent controls this owner's hand. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so what we are going to do is... <laughs> I think I got a swing in with the team. I think I actually do have to slow down the... Maybe, maybe slow down the tempo. This is such a... I'm one away from it, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, it feels so close. I wish I could discard some of the land I already have out. I'm just swinging with the team. Swinging with the team, man. Swinging with the team. Oh, is that the way you want to do it? You can just keep replaying Tatiova if he wants, but I'm just going to keep jamming in there with creatures. Because, like, if we draw one land, if we rip one land, we can summon a very large Academy Drake. Oh, shit. I think I just shut that away and then swing in with the team. Uh. All right, on you, man. Kelden Raiders, things that have Kelden on them are good. It's gonna have to like get two blockers basically. Alright, so he died.
Yes, dude, look at this. We are literally gonna go through an entire draft in like an hour. Yes. Yes. I'm amazed at how well this is working. We are destroyerating, man. Damn, I'm hungry. My body's demanding salmon. Aggressive aggro decks with one quickly with cheap creatures before the opponent can set up effective defenses. <laughs> Thank you, informative subtext. Mm, ready, Freddy. Oh my god, the 7 0 subtrade would be so sweet. It would be so sweet. Death to Corporate G. Kind of a monster opening. Nothing. Zafi Scoot. Now here is a question. So I play out the Gitu Chronicler. I think I just do this for the damage. And he whiffs his land. So I want to know one thing. Um, one thing I really love about Dominaria is all the kicker business. Because it just creates this environment where, like, if you don't get your draw, or if you have an aggro card that you're trying to be aggressive with early, Totally, 100% fine. Totally, 100% fine if you just draw it late and you can just pay the cost. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Yes. <laughs> oh, he was so boned, man. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna get to seven from heaven? Are we gonna go 7-0 when we forced red-blue? I actually think that everybody that I've been playing against has been succumbing to the same thing that I've talked about countless times. It's a slow format. Oh, draft slow things, and being slow is good. There's a few archetypes like uh, red-white, red-blue, black-white. All right, get your Twitch Prime subs ready. Don't do it yet. We might get there. Six and L, baby. I think this is an acceptable keep. Alright. Pull this. Very good. Probably going to opt immediately. Like, not wait. I mean, in case I can get the other sparring construct, right? I think that's an intelligent decision. Uh, now, this is the more intelligent decision. I mean, if he has the fungal explodey thing, that just sucks. Yeah. Sometimes things just suck. Always remember that anytime you try to have hope. Menaces can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Alright, I think we may have slowed, slowed the man down. So this could be Rosa bad for us. I think the Keldon Overseer is actually going to be a win condition for us, so I'm going to hold him back. 
I love the Journey Mage so much. Three twos are surprisingly good. I really now think that this is going to be a win condition for us. Like, we're going to play... Uh, hmm. Oof. So I can hit him for six. Let me opt first. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to opt first and see what we get. Actually, that's... Okay, this looks really weird, but I'm basically going for a huge Keldon Overseer play. Because we whiffed on so much damage at the start of the turn, or start of the game. He doesn't have that many cards, but he has like a lot of land. So I'm expecting him to play one big threat, I bounce it. Plays, replays the big threat. Oh, even better. He's going to look for his biggest, thickest, most swollen, intimidating threat possible. And then I'm going to have enough land to overload the Keldon Overseer to kill him with it. And that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. how we're going to do it. Oh my god. Get your trains ready. <laughs> Sapper's fine. Sapper's fine. It's a little less than fine, but you know, what are you going to do? So much mana, I can't believe it. So I think I still swing with the team. I still have to play this out. This, I have to play this first because the damage will happen. He's going to block here. Probably won't block here. Poking in for one, every damage counts. We're waiting for him to play a huge thing with all this stuff that he's seemed to play down. Hey, T. Drogo, eight months. Ah, oh, the Zealot Archon King is Oh, it's Bayloth Gorger. Now. Now, what did Cat Dad say before? Cat Dad said he was going to play his huge threat. Now what was going to happen is we were going to send it back. We're going to get the land that we need. So we can go to seven. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm doing this literally in the incorrect order, so it doesn't matter. Oh, a thing of beauty. Now he's going to replay the Bayloth Gorger, and we're going to kill him with his Bayloth Gorger. Can you believe how fucking sick this is? Here it comes! 7-0! and oh. oh my god, this is so amazing. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Awesome! Awesome! Oh my god! Oh my god, Moldratha! During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card for each permanent type. What do you have? Oh, shit. He's, he's getting the... Oh, no. This is actually really bad news. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I spoke way, way, way too soon. This is actually the only play that we do have, though. We don't have anything that we can even play, right? Whatever. To the face. Well, that's not the correct box, but that's fine. Oh, 
Oh my god, Muldratha. Like, the one thing. The one thing! Alright, well, looks like we don't have the sparring construct. What is he gonna do? He's gonna play Yavamai. Oh my god. He's gonna reflood it. Now, you know what we could do? We could literally just draw another Kelvin Overseer. That could do it. Always too cocky. Every tune. I know. I know. It's okay. I think we have three of these. We have three of these. Oh my god. I think if he had replayed the Bayloth Gordon, how sick that would have been. Oh, actually, hey. Alright. Again. One time, maybe? One time? No, he has the Vicious Offering. I forgot. Muldratha. Muldratha's literally gonna just play this and kill me. Unless Ezio the cat doesn't know what he's doing. <sighs> oh shit, he and Bolus clutched it. Oh my god, we are we are Doomeronies. Unless now we draw a Kelvin Overseer. Alright, so I believe that we block simply as this. Simply as this. No. He has a lot of land up. Is it just on your turn? During each of your turns. Okay, that hurts. know how to get around Muldratha. Right, that comes back here. I mean, I gotta play it now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so devastated. Oh, up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Oh god doesn't, like, is this a, considered a permanent? Like, an aura? Are auras considered permanents? They are? Oh, I'm fucking dumb, dude. He's literally gonna recast that every single time. Oh, crap. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Alright, swing in. I don't really know how we win this. No blockers. There it is. Oh, crap, man. Alright, that's fine. And turn. Oh my god, we were inches away. Uh... So I can still do it if I draw a Keldon Overseer, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> Crap. Oh my god, the devastation. Now we can still get to seven. We can still get to seven. Gotta lose three times. Gotta lose three times. Domo Easy subs and says, close enough. You're a bold man, Domo Easy. Oh my god, we were so close! That was a close game after he blew up our... After he two for one us early. Uh, yes, this is good enough for me. It's not incredible, but... We get the momentum. Okay. Bet he top deck Muldrapa. I think we just saw him do that, right? 
At least we can blink of an eye to bounce a thing right away to draw so we can get a journey mage. We'll never need to do that ever under any circumstance because this is amazing! I can't do anything wrong! I'm the best! Look at me! It's all gone to my head. Chunderland, welcome. for four a few times, yeah. I completely forgot that this was in our deck. Oh my god, we run a Helm of the Host in this puppy. That isn't fair. What up? I cannot believe this. This is amazing. Could have killed him by bouncing the clutches and swinging with the Drake. He turned, he played it. Oh, shit. Junderland, you're totally right. We could have won the last game because you can return a permanent to the owner's hand. I always, 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 always forget that. Oh, my God. Damn, that would have been a sick win. That's fine. I'm feeling confident as hell right here, man. He's going to play something, and we're going to counter it because we're amazing. We're six and one. Johnny says, Wait, never mind. You, that time you bounced the Drake, you did it with the Journey Mage. That's my bad. Oh, was that true? I don't even remember. Let's just assume that you were correct and that you're just this guy who subs in like a total badass and is like, and here is the play. Permit that to a resolve. And he's going to play slime foot and we're going to counter that. Even better. All right. Oh my god, awesome. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh. I can't believe we're gonna win this shit.
What up? What up, slime foot? Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna play this now. Oh. Uh, wait, so do we have lethal? Not quite, because it's one, two, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Not quite. Woohoo! We're going in! Oh, Blink. Blink would have done plus one. Uh, doesn't even matter! We did it! Yes! Seven to one! Holy cow, it's the victory is so sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god, Siphonia, welcome. Elifax, double zero, 11 months in a row.